G'day avocado enthusiasts and welcome to this video. Now I'm going to be trying something that I haven't done before today. Lots of people have asked me about whether or not you can take a cutting of an avocado tree and grow it, get it to root and plant it. So I'm going to be trying that today. I have just pruned the avocados in the avocado lagoon. You can check out that video in the description below. And I've got now four, well, cuttings. And I want to know if I can root them. So I'm going to try it. So lots of plants can be cloned through taking cuttings. We do propagations of things all the time. The reason why they can do that is that plants have meristematic cells throughout them. So in nodes in particular, there are meristematic cells and that just means that there are cells which are undifferentiated and could become any part of the plant. So when you prune an avocado tree, they can then push out of their nodes other branches, leaves, and they even have the instructions for roots. So we're gonna be trying this today. So as I said, I've got some avocado cuttings. People generally don't recommend that you do this with avocados because they aren't very good at doing this. It's theoretically possible, but compared to growing rootstock from a seed, or growing a tree from a seed and then grafting onto it, it's not as viable. But that doesn't mean we can't try it. And I have just taken these cuttings, they'll just be going in the compost otherwise, so why not try and grow some more plants out of it? So I'm going to be doing that today. I'm going to be using this cloning hormone, this rooting hormone to try and help me along here. I've got some pots filled with a potting mix that I have mixed up myself. This one is about one half coconut peat and the other half perlite. I've recently switched from using peat moss to using coconut peat. It's a lot more environmentally friendly because you're not harvesting anything from the wild. It's just a byproduct of the coconut industry, which means it's just, it's, it's gonna be wasted otherwise. So it's a waste product, great to use in our garden. So we're gonna try it today. So I'm going to actually cut these again. And I'm going to cut them at an angle so that we have more of an angle with the cut. The reason why we do that is so that there's more of the cambrium layer accessible. So I'm going to just take my clean scissors and I'm going to cut a diagonal strip so that we've got more of that accessible. And I'm going to then dip it into my rooting hormone. So I'll dip it all the way in there. And then I'm going to take that and put it in my pot. And just push that all the way in there. And that's really all there is to it. I have no idea if it's going to take. I'm not going to trim the leaves off of this one because I'm curious to see what would happen. I'm going to take the top off another a couple just to see what's more effective because I haven't tried this before either. So I'm going to do this with the next one. So take a diagonal cut there and place it in the pot of rooting hormone and then pop it into the pot of soil. And I'm actually going to give this another prune because I'm curious to see whether it's more effective if you give it a prune. I don't know, we'll do a little experiment here today. So I've got two more to go. Take the cutting at an angle, dip it and pop it in here and then one more. And once again, I'm going to give this one another prune just to see what happens. Take the cutting and a nice diagonal there, dip it and pop it in here and we'll give it a prune as well. So I'm just pruning just above a node and we'll see which ones are more effective. So I'll leave kind of, oh, there's a few nodes there, but that's okay. I don't think there's enough on here to try and <laughs> propagate it again, so I'm gonna throw them in with the worms. And that's all good. So now I've got four avocado cuttings, scions or pruned branches that I have put into this rooting medium, which I have made with the rooting hormone. And now we'll just see how we go. I'm going to keep this soil wet. So I'm gonna keep it moist. The reason why I've chosen these tall pots instead of wider ones is so that it drains easier if we don't have so much width, it's going to be faster at draining. Uh, and these are great draining pots as well, just these nursery pots. So we'll keep them nice and moist. New water every few days, I'm imagining during these warmer months here we have in Australia. This is the growing season and uh, we'll uh, check in 
in well, a bit of time and see if anything happens. So I'll pop them in here just to increase the humidity, really protects them uh, during this very sensitive phase. It's about time for an update. It's been 136 days or just over four and a half months or about 19 weeks since I started propagating those four avocado cuttings. And over the last few months, well, Two of them have certainly died. One is on its way out, it's looking really droopy. But this one, to my surprise almost, has started growing new growth. It had a leaf which was sustained, and only until about this week, then I looked at it, and it's actually got some new growth, which I am thrilled by. I, I was just very excited. And looking at the bottom, there's even a root starting to grow out there, which means that this is alive, this is growing, and that's very exciting. So one out of four, 25%, that's not a great hit rate, but it can be done. I don't think we're out of the woods just yet. I'd like it to grow a little bit more before I can conclude this as a successful attempt to propagate avocado trees. So we're going to wait a little longer and hopefully get some growth. It's been another month and a half, so it's been now almost six months. It's been 179 days since I took those cuttings and started propagating these avocado trees. Well, when I say these, I mean this avocado tree because the others have already died. And this one was looking very promising, but now it is not. The bud didn't continue to grow, and then the stem started turning black. It was looking as though there might be another bud coming from a lower node, but that has also turned black, and this tree is very much dying. I am convinced that this is a lost cause. So, what went wrong? Well, we're already starting at a disadvantage. As we know, propagating avocado trees is not common practice. The way that people typically grow avocado trees, the avocados that grow the avocados we eat, and avocados that you buy at the store, and avocados that you grow at home, is through growing seeds. The seed grows, it has lots of beautiful roots, it grows a good trunk. Then typically in an industrial or a farm setting, you will graft a particular type of avocado scion or branch onto that rootstock, but you're still using the rootstock. We kind of went at it backwards, where we took off a scion and we put it straight in the ground waiting for it to grow. And it did grow roots. We saw them coming out the bottom, but since then it has died. Now, it might have been root rot. There is a lot of perlite in this mix, so I'm not certain about that, and I'm not sure if I could have done anything else other than growing it in pure perlite, which, you know, that might be something I try in the future. But for today, unfortunately, I have not been successful in propagating and growing avocado trees. This is common with lots of the fruit trees which we grow fruit on. They're often difficult to propagate, and if they do take, they are generally fairly weak for a long time. There are certain trees which we get fruit off which propagate very easily. I have had lots of success with growing elderberries, but not avocados. Sometimes we try things and they fail, and I wanted to share this failure with you just to demonstrate that it's difficult. We were having some success, so I believe it's still possible to do this, and I might have another attempt in the future, but for this attempt, we have not succeeded. If you have had success in propagating a cutting from an avocado tree, I would love to hear from you. Please post your experiences in the comments below and that might help me to shape my next attempt to propagate avocado trees. But I suppose my advice to you is that if you want to grow your own avocado trees, going from seed will get you a tree or even better, if you want to get particular avocado trees, go to your local nursery and pick up a couple of cultivated avocados. And I think that's where we'll end this video. Over the last six months, we've really been on a bit of a journey a bit of an emotional roller coaster. Most of the cuttings died pretty quickly, but this one started showing signs of growth before it too died. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned something. If you go on to successfully propagate some avocado trees, or 
If you've already done so, I would love to know in the comments below. So feel free to come back at a later time if you've had some success or leave your comments there now. Otherwise, I'd love to know what you thought about this video and if you have any suggestions for the future. If you enjoyed this video and haven't already subscribed to Scott Groves and Avocado Tree, I invite you to do so. We post all kinds of videos about avocado trees here and it's a real joy to have you along for this journey. I'm also on Instagram at Scott Groves and Avocado Tree. And if you'd like to see other videos that I make that aren't avocado related, but are still about things that I'm curious about and have a sense of wonder around, you can find my other channel, That's Pretty Cool. There is a link at the end of this video and in the comments below. Thanks once again for watching. Take care and I will see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.